Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com. And today we're gonna to talk about visual simplification. As when you're learning to paint, a lot of what you're striving for is realism. You want what you're painting to look more and more like real life. But it's important to remember that we as painters are not cameras. And in this video, we're gonna explore the difference and why that matters. Why you and I might wanna add in simplicity when a camera sees everything uniformly. Because in a sense, your painting is going to be a set of artistic choices. Everything that you add to the canvas has the opportunity to either empower or distract from your composition. When you take a camera, on the other hand, it just captures everything in front of it with an equal emphasis. A camera doesn't consider each object and say, hmm, is this going to help the image or is this going to hurt it? It just captures. So as you learn to make a painting, you're going to be trying to create compelling images. Remember, it's completely up to you what you decide is going to exist inside of your picture plane. So let's take a look at this photo and consider if I were looking at this scene and making a painting of it. So I'm actually just going to modify the photo, but really this is the same thought process I would use if I were doing a still life. So let's say the lighting of the scene and the subject is leading it to be a little bit low contrast. Well, what I want to do is increase the contrast of the most important object because that's what I want the user to look at. So is this staying perfectly true to my reference? No, I'm making the choice to change it a little bit from reality. But what that does is it makes the final image much more compelling. So knowing that I can break the rules a little bit like this and alter reality, what choices would I want to do to strive for clarity in my images? Well, one of the best ways to achieve clarity is to de-emphasize objects that are not important to get rid of the noise and the clutter. So looking again at this photo, if I were to try and pull the viewer's attention towards the focal point, it would help me to lower the contrast of the background objects. Already you can see that they are less prominent. Now another thing I can do is to literally ignore some of the details. So here I'm gonna use a Photoshop filter, but obviously if I were making a painting, I'd just be not including as much surface information. So once again, you can see here, it's even less emphasis on these background objects because the human eye is naturally attracted to areas of detail. So when you remove surface detail, it's gonna help the viewer ignore this part of the image. So you could keep making choice after choice like this as you proceed through a painting. And the final result is gonna be a little bit different than exactly what you see in front of you. Because if you had a camera, you could easily capture exactly what was in front of you. But as an illustrator, you can present this moment in space and time a little bit differently. Your collection of choices can tell the viewer something different about it. In a sense, you can inject a little bit of a narrative just based on the choices you make. And I want to clarify that this is not really a discussion about artistic style. This is still within the realm of academic observational painting. If you were to take these choices and really exaggerate things and change colors and simplify down to a cartooned level, well, then that would definitely be style. But forgetting style for a minute, even when you're just capturing what you're looking at, you need to be making conscious choices. And in this way, you can bend the reality that you're looking at and reproduce it for your audience in a compelling way. Now, to know how to guide these choices, you might want to know more about the principles of design. So if you haven't watched a series yet about the principles of design, you should watch those now. And I'm going to link those at the bottom of the post. But remember, it's up to you how you want to portray subjects, so you might as well make them interesting. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.